Just a typical weekend blaster rip, but I'm gonna pair it. One of the best meal days of my life. Let's do it. Guys, hope everyone's having a great day. Like I said, just got the, the normal weekend blaster rip. I picked this up at Target while I went grocery shopping. I was hoping they had some stadium club, couldn't find any. But I do also have a four package mail day. These are all cards from my graded rookie collection. Uh, super, super excited to have these very late editions. I've only got, I think three cards left in the whole thing. So I was lucky to find these all on eBay. And we're gonna get into this first before we do the rip. Um, I'm going to start off with probably the lowest end one, but really cool. One of the rare 10s in my rookie collection. This is the 2019 Tops Update Austin Riley short print rookie. Really, really sweet card. You can see it's in a PSA 10. Figured, you know, there's enough of these out there. If I'm going to have one, I might as well go for the 10. Uh, really sick card. I love the image. It's like, it seems really far away, but at the same time, he's really in focus and on the entire card. Or his whole body's on the card, which is sick. And then I really love the, the M&M's advertisement in the background. I think it's really cool. Also, one of the rare times Austin Riley's played the outfield. I know he's primarily a third baseman at this point, but he's playing left field in that picture, which is pretty sweet. Uh, again, just like how that one looks. And if I was going to go for the short print, might as well get a 10. So really happy to have that one. Uh, another 2019 card here. This is super sweet. I recently sold my Pete Alonso Gold Wave rookie auto from Topps Chrome at a card show when I got bought out. So I went ahead and picked this one up for the PC. This is the 2019 Topps Chrome Blue Refractor. This looks really, really sweet in person, better than I thought it was going to look. Really, really sick. And a Beckett 9.5 with two 10s and two 9.5, so pretty sweet. Probably going to have to cross this over to PSA just to keep everything in, in the same slab. But hopefully, hopefully this gets a 10, uh, number to 150. Really, really sweet card. Obviously, as a Mets fan, this is a huge one for me. Pete Alonso is awesome, one of my favorite players, and uh, finally have a, a nice rookie of him. I actually got the the non-numbered rainbow from 2019 Topps Chrome, the sepia pink, all that kind of stuff. But finally have a numbered one that I can stick in the PC and be happy with, so super cool there. Uh, and then the last 2019 card here, this is 2019, also Topps update, but this is the Vlad Jr. Independence Day. Showed this one off on Instagram early, so if you guys aren't following me over there, please check it out. I should have it in the description. Same name, JV Baseball Cards, but showed this off over there. Uh, numbered to 76, of course, Independence Day. This is one of the better ones they've ever done. Um, probably the second best behind 2018, but this is the true Vlad flagship rookie. Uh, he had the no number in Series 2, but this is his, you know, you know, common flagship rookie, I guess, that actually has a ton of parallels, so... Really, really nice looking card. It's the most red, white, and blue card I've ever seen. Obviously the design, the red and white, everything down here with the name is red, white, and blue. The logo for the Blue Jays, his uniform, his sweatband. I mean, everything on this card is red, white, and blue. It's awesome. The rookie logo, super cool to have this. Uh, PSA 9, again, number 76. And I actually found out this came from uh, the guys over at Blabbing About Slab and Chris and Jeff. I, I picked it up on eBay and just, you know, gave an offer and got it. And then I found out <laughs> in a live stream from them that uh, it was from them. So super cool. Shout out those guys. If you're not following them, please do. They have way better cards than I do and very entertaining channel. So that's all the 2019 stuff I've got. And the last card here, possibly the best one. This is the 2020 Tops. Uh, I used to have a Jordan Alvarez foil board complete set to 264. I really liked how that looked, but uh, I, again, I sold it at the show because I wanted to pick up this card specifically. Uh, this is the 2020 Top Series 1 Super Short Print of Jordan. Just an awesome card here. Probably going to be an iconic one if he continues on the path he's on. Really, really sweet cup and the rookie logo down there in the corner. Not the biggest fan of the 2020 design, but the picture is awesome. And like I said, this is one of his more well-known rookie cards. Definitely one of the more sought-after ones. So really happy to have picked this one up when I did. And uh, hopefully he has a, a big season. So that's my mail day. Super pumped about all those. Like I said, I've only got three cards left to complete my collection. You know, Maybe that'll happen this year if they all pop up. Maybe it won't. But either way, we're getting really, really close. And I'm very happy to have those four added. So... Uh, now we're going to get into the blaster. Probably not going to beat any of those, but 
I guess we'll see. I've been trying to do these kind of weekly when I can. I've had some mail the past few weeks, so it's been a little easier to just throw a video up and include a, a blaster with all the, the cards I get. But we haven't been doing super well. We've hit a couple cool cards, like some gold rookie debuts out of here, but nothing insane. So maybe we can actually hit something worth sending off. Um, not going to go through too much here, but we got a Corbin Carroll to start. It's a good sign. Let's go through, try and pick out some of the nicer rookie stuff. Uh, so we've got a black gold in this one. We'll just flip it around here. We've got a uh, rookie combo on the Halloween parallel for the Padres. Uh, nice Grayson Rodriguez, Stars MLB, and the black gold. Nice. Could I sing it for my Mets? Sweet. Very happy about that. Pitchers and catchers, I think, reported today. So that's fantastic news. I'm actually going to spring training this year, which I'm super pumped about. It's going to be in the middle of March. Very excited to go see those guys. Probably try to bring some stuff in case I can get it signed, but uh, just happy to watch some baseball this year. Don't get to see the Mets too often, so when I do, I try to really relish it, savor it. It's like we got not much going on in this pack. Okay, I thought we are going to have something there. Do not. Another Sanga rookie. Sweet. Stars MLB. Hoping for at least one numbered card, preferably not a gold, because I feel like that's all we've hit in these. Um, it's like we got a couple things going on here. We got a Chrome. And probably an all-star game. Okay. So don't see anything numbered in here. Just go through. See a Riley Green and a Christopher Morrell debut. Our Chrome Stars MLB. Ooh, that is <laughs> that is not the one you want. Um, but man, could I sing a box here? All-star game rookie. Sweet. We got a Hunter Brown on the Stars MLB and Jake Bird rookie Halloween parallel. Just trying to breeze through these. We've got uh series one coming out in a couple days. Really excited about that. That comes out on the 14th. I've got two jumbo boxes pre-ordered. Super pumped to open those. Lots of nice parallels in here. Some new stuff we haven't seen before. Very excited about that. I finally saw, um, get through these real quick, Jared Schuster, 88 rookie, and Jordan Walker, Stars MLB. That's nice. I finally saw the team color match parallel, and allegedly it's a case hit, and they look really sweet. It's just kind of the, the team colors, and then the logo is the design sort of around the border. Really, really sweet. And as someone that really likes color matches, that is going to be one I'm chasing for sure. Um, going to be chasing Evan Carter as well. Looks like we have a turnaround card here. Let me do a little flip. Got Matt Strom, card collector on the Halloween Parallel. James Outman on the Stars MLB Rookie. And we've got, what is this, uh, one of the laid outs, I think. What do we have back here? Oh, it's a royal blue. Okay, we'll do the blue first. The Yodi Tavares. It's third year card, I think. He's a rookie in 21. And then laid out Mookie Betts. Two packs to go. Uh, I'm going to be chasing Evan Carter pretty hard in Series 1. I'm a big Evan Carter fan already. Um, obviously, Ellie De La Cruz and Jason Dominguez are in there. Ronnie Mauricio I'm also going to be chasing pretty hard for my Mets. He is all the same talent as Ellie De La Cruz, in my opinion. He just got hurt last year, which is unfortunate. Or hurt in the offseason, maybe. I don't know. Um, but he came up pretty late last year. All-Star game Mike Trout and Vaughn Grissom. So we didn't get to see a ton of him, but I'm really hoping for big things from the young Mets this year. Francisco Alvarez, um, Brett Beatty, Mark Vientos, all those guys. Obviously, Cody Singh has got a, quite a bit to follow up in his sophomore year, but I think he can do it. Uh, we got one turned around card. Maybe that'll be a gold. Let's see. We got... Just flip it, maybe. I might have missed one there. Oh, no. Rainbow foil and a purple. Okay, sweet. Nice pack here. Uh, Jared Schuster on the Halloween Parallel Rookie. Got Hunter Green. Stars MLB, and then we'll do the foil first. Ooh, nice. Anthony Volpe, Rainbow Foil rookie debut. That's a sweet one. And then our last card is this purple. I think these are just $7.99. Uh, doesn't look like a rookie. Aledmus Diaz. I think that's a second year card. It's going to be number two. Yeah, $7.99. So not a bad way to end it there. Numbered card and a nice Anthony Volpe rookie debut Rainbow Foil. But that's what I got for you guys today. Hope you enjoyed the mail day. Let me know what you think of those cards, if you have a favorite one. And uh, like I said, I'll be back with two jumbo boxes this week of Series 1. Thanks for watching. Bye.